Alan Martin, B dude. How you doing, man? All right, your beehives have expanded. How many do you have now? I have ten now. That's a bunch. Yeah, that's where that was originally going to cut off at ten, but I think I'm going to cut off maybe at twenty now. So technically, you could get like thirty gallons of honey in a in a you know in a, in a, in a season? season for a season. Yeah, you get about what three. What do you do gallons. with all that honey? I'm planning on selling a bunch. Well, you know, I'm going to try to do, to do something <laughs> that, you know, get a little bit, yeah. So how many of your hives made it through the winter? Uh, I lost one. That's pretty good. That was, That's that, pretty that was good. really good compared to a lot of other people. Now, uh, we've been, we kind of go along on the farm here as, as things happen. Jay was over not too long ago and did some stuff. Today, I'm getting to that point. I was so excited talking recently about the fact that I might get some honey this year. You should get some this year. What does it take to get to the point where you can have some honey? You have to get a good strong swarm, get your bees time to get built up and, right. and get everything filled up. You know, we have plenty of bees in there. Usually when you get bees, the first year, you're not gonna get any honey. You know, usually it's that second year when you should start seeing some, you know, payback from the bees. Payback, I want payback. Payback, that's what you Now let's talk to. about what we've got going on. I'm looking right now at Multiflora Rose. We've got honeysuckle. Blackberries, Blackberries are blooming late. Blackberries are like blooming late, but it's now started blooming around where I'm at. So you're here today for a specific reason. What is that? You brought something with you. We're gonna add another super. You've a already super. got one. For those who don't know, what is a super? A super is what you put on the hive that they put the honey in. That's what you actually pull and that's what you'll take from the hive. So you're putting this on so they can start adding more to that Add so I can that. take from that. You can take from that. Yeah, you've already got one super on there now uh -huh. and it's pretty much filled up and they're starting to cap it. So we're gonna put another one on to give them, keep them from getting bored. Now a little B101, this is the time of year when you might see a swarm. Springtime, you know, this time, but April, real May. Real quick, let's take, a, let's take a, here's a picture of what a swarm looks like. Let's go back to where you and I and Jay went to a house where there's a swarm. What do you do when there's a swarm? What happens if you're a homeowner or a property owner and you see this huge bunch of bees and you're like, what is going on? First of all, tell what's going on and then say what you do for well, that situation. What, what causes a swarm is, is the number of bees in a hive, whether it be in a hive or a tree or whatever, they get enough bees in there that uh, the workers decide it's time to produce another queen and for some of us to leave. So they'll uh, produce a queen, she'll hatch out, she'll go out, get bred, return to the hive, then the old queen will leave and can take up to half the bees with her. I'm so fascinated with the process that when you take this top off, I'm gonna step way out of the way and be fascinated way over there. Well, if, that's, if you feel safer that way, we can do it that now, way. Did you get did you get tagged the other day? Uh, yeah, Sunday I uh, come home and uh, had one of my hives had swarmed and they were in flight and I found out that uh, when they're in flight, it's best to stay back and just let them do their thing. Just keep an eye from a distance. Do we have a know? picture of this? Uh, yeah, I've got a picture of that. We will share with the audience no, because we, we want to see you in all your glory. All right, we can do that. <laughs> all right, I'm going to stand back and watch you do your thing. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pull this frame up and we're going to take a little look-see at it and see what all they've done. And it looks like they've got them all drawn out. What's drawn out mean? What's that mean? Uh, what they'll do, you put the foundation wax in there, which is just a small, thin sheet of wax. When they draw it out, they'll go and start producing the cells for the honeycomb building and, and start building it out. This is all drawn out. You can actually harvest this right now if you wanted to. <laughs> this is ready to go in there. They're, out there. they're ready to go. This box could actually be pulled right now and we could take the honey from it if you wanted to. Typically, I don't like to do it till the flow is over with. So basically, you'll put this super on top of that, let them start working on that and then come get that? Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll take this, the way the flow is right now, I put a uh, super on one of my hives with uh, just regular frames and it hadn't been drawn out. And within a week, they done had it drawn out and filled full of honey and started capping it wow. in a week. Put that on. How many supers can you put on one of these? As many as they want to fill up. I've seen them as high as five, six, seven supers on. Well, I'll tell you, I appreciate you every time y'all come out here and show us something new. More than glad to. And uh, our audience. The more people we can get involved in this, the better off. All of us will be. Oh, yeah. The way things are going right now, they're probably going to draw it out pretty quick. And, you know, you can in a couple weeks put another one on it if you want to. We might just have to do that. Thank if you very if much it's filled up, that's what we'll have to do. The B-Dude is helping us out again. Mm -hmm.